What's up, YouTubers? I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. Now, I would put this groove somewhere between intermediate and advanced. Intermediate to learn for sure, but advanced to pull it off and really do it with confidence. And what I mean by that is you need to spend time with a groove like this. You can't just learn it off of the internet, off of a PDF. You have to fellowship with it. You have to play with a slow click, a fast click. You have to play with drumless tracks because if you don't, what's gonna happen is you'll be on the gig as an intermediate drummer and this is fine. You're golden. Everything's good. You're feeling sweet with this and you're like, you know what? I think I'm gonna do that groove that I learned on YouTube in one, Two, three, four. Yeah, I'm good. And that's why it's so important not to overlook things like this. This is the real stuff. This is a usable groove. And like I said, it's just funky enough. It's just syncopated enough. There's enough ghost notes and enough texture to make it extremely hip in a basic situation. And speaking of situations, when would you use this? I would say this would be a great bridge groove for sure or a great verse groove. I definitely wouldn't use this as a chorus groove or a payoff groove. But as a verse groove, maybe putting the right hand on the rack tom rim, that would be really cool. Or like I said, as a bridge groove where you've been playing a straight pop beat the entire song and you just need a little break taking out that backbeat on two and only having it on four that'll really give you something unique to help the song out now last thing before we jump on the kit and learn this groove I would love your feedback on this so please answer in the comments but I've been on a hunt for a few different vintage drums and I was thinking about maybe making some vlog style videos taking you guys with me taking you on the drive telling you what I'm looking for going through the shop there's a few shops in Northern California that I can actually drive to that are actually open and I could bring you guys along with me and I'm just wondering if you would like to see that type of content on this channel if so please let me know also speaking of this channel please subscribe please hit the bell notifications and please like the video now let's jump on the kit and learn this groove judo do you want to learn this groove hey do you want to learn this groove come on you got <laughs> thank you thank you that was awesome how did you just find my Adam's apple so fast you didn't even look you just knew right where it was and punched me Anyways, I know you guys need to see your Juno, so here you go. I know, I know. Don't tell me about it. Oh my God. Don't tell me about it, tell them. I love you too. I love you too. Okay, I'm gonna go teach. I'm gonna go teach. You can learn this groove too. Okay, I'm gonna go teach. Bye. All right, so quickly, let's just refresh what this groove sounds like. Just got that thing that do ba ka ka All right, so I think the best way for us to learn this would be four notes at a time because it is heavily syncopated. And if you don't know what syncopation means or what syncopated means, it means any group of notes that is not evenly spaced. So just straight eighth notes are non-syncopated. But as soon as you put a couple rests in there, ba ba da 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 then it's syncopated. So this is a heavily syncopated groove, so we're gonna learn it four notes at a time. Let me explain it real quick. First four notes, we've got bass drum and right hand. I'm gonna accent that right hand, followed by two ghost notes and a kick. Not too bad, right? Then next four notes, we've got accent right, ghost left, chill right, ghost left. The next two notes will take care of three and, and that's gonna be an open on three, three, let it sizzle. Just let it sizzle. Then and, you're not gonna close this until the downbeat of four. Then on four, we've got four and a. Uh. Four and a. Uh. So the whole thing goes one E and a, uh, two E and a, uh, three and four and a, uh, one E and a, uh, two E and a, uh, three and four and a. Uh. Let's build it four notes at a time. You gotta do it with me, I'm out of breath. Ghost notes low. Next four notes. Next two notes.
Now, I know it can be painful to learn something that slow, and to be honest, that was not that slow. That was 60 BPM. But keep in mind, when you learn something that slow, it allows the notes to be spaced out so you can really give every single note the attention it deserves and really clean things up. That way, when you do speed it up towards your goal tempo of whatever the song is, it's going to feel a lot better. If you learn it fast, then what's happening is you just have all this slop really close together, and it's not until a producer or an MD pulls that stuff apart and goes like, yeah, you're all over the place, man. So you really want to work on getting it really dialed in slow, and then when you speed it up, it'll be just as clean. So our goal tempo on this one is 110 BPM. Obviously, I think it sounds good anywhere between 90 to 120. And if you're down around the 80, you should try swinging this as well. But we're going to give it a shot at 110 BPM. You got to do it with me. It's such a fun groove to play, and like I said earlier in the lesson, it's practical. You can use this in modern pop, modern rock, modern funk for sure, and it makes a great departure from this. You know, if you've been here for a while, and you're kind of bored out of your mind, and it's the tenth song you've played with this exact same groove, it's nice to go, all right, here's the bridge. Come on now. I should have turned my vocal mic off, but whatever, we're leaving it. This is what my drums actually sound like. Come on. And yes, as somebody that has a presence on Instagram, I know how tempting it is to hear something like this and think like, oh, that's what I gotta learn. I'm telling you, even though I've made lessons on how to do that, I've never used it. Not once, ever, ever. But this, come on. I can't stop playing it, so hopefully, stop. I'll give you a dollar. So hopefully you will practice the heck out of this groove, and if you liked this groove, there are a ton more lessons about grooves just like this on mikeslessons.com. I will put the link to the courses below. There's also a link to my metronome below. It's not my metronome. I actually don't even think it's that great of a metronome. I just like the colors and the simple interface. That is all. It doesn't even do half the things that modern metronomes do, but I like the colors, so that is it. All right, YouTubers, I hope you had a blast. Like I said, I hope you practiced this, and I hope you will take a few notes and change them just a little bit and make this thing your own. It is cool to learn this groove from me, but it's a lot cooler if I see you play something I'm like, what was that? And you tell me, oh, that thing you did on YouTube a few years ago, I turned it into this. That is the dream for me as an educator. But until next time, have a great day, guys.